Hey folks, I keep seeing people talking that they are broke and it doesn't really fit in my head. So today I will venture in some casual PvE activities for like two or three hours at most to see how much gold it will yield me. But first we need to quickly pick our winner for the last Venombile skin giveaway. Okay, let's do this one quickly. Yes, of course. Uh huh. Alrighty. I guess we will get the comments. Only 16. Hmm. Well, who is it gonna be? Joel Major. Sorry, Joel, if I pronounced it wrong. And you would like a dagger. Very well. Joel, you will receive your dagger pretty soon. All right, congrats to the winner. And I will try to do variety of things, but without too much effort. Of course, we will not be running around for an hour to make like 20 silver as well. Let's see what do we have at the start. And we have 4855 gold. I've spent a little on ledges. Yeah. Uh, this is our starting point and I will start with dailies. We have Forager, the easy one. Of course, there's PvP, Vista Viewer, another easy one, blah, blah, blah. And if you like World be Vault, you could do that as well. But as per usual, I guess I will try to do one round of PvP. And if we lose, I will fill it up with the Vista Viewer. Okay, that round was awful. And I will have to do one more. Alrighty, this was not easy, but a little bit better. And dailies are complete, I believe. And I did not mention that, but I will sell everything I will get. Everything. Almost forgot, we need to take a look at our Leyline Energy Matter Converter. What do we have in store today? Eh, doesn't... Not worth it. Small. Well, we can take small. For a few silver. And maybe we will get lucky with something. On the trading post it goes. And now, for like a, a half an hour or so, we can do branded for the dust or branded as you prefer. Pew, 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 pew. No, we don't need the nest. These are dead guys. Oh, poor guys. Also, there's fish in this water, if you can call it that. There's a lot of them. You can kill those too. Anyway, we'll continue this shooting for the dust. I swapped map a little bit furthermore, like, you know, from here to here. Because that one was over farmed for my taste. These challenges are also great because there's loads of mobs. Yeah. Give more, please. Oh, yeah, they are coming. They are coming to get me. Okay, our time is up. What do we get? 71 pile of radiant dust. Let's sell it right away. It felt like the drop rate is pretty poor today. But still, it's 6.5 gold almost. All right. Salvage the rest and sell as well. And for now, I will go back to work and I will do maybe some chest collecting later. After, I mean, uh, maybe I will do uh, some easy meta. We will see. Maybe we will convert some mats. I mean, not trying to impress here anyone, but I would like just to show you that it's pretty hard to be broke in this game, you know. So I'd rather just do something simple. Aim for maybe 20 gold in total and that's about it i could go fractals and maybe i will after but uh, it would be sort of like a cheating 
I think because not everyone does those, especially T4 and so on. folks so I decided to go to Tango Depths for some chuck because I need uh, a few more chuck eggs and meanwhile I've been waiting I've picked up some caches with the acid you know not that acid yeah and after that we will go to Durden Brink to get some shiny bubbles because this is the shiny bubble week and that's easy and pretty good farm and we will go for one round I mean what's left of it after the check and previously when I did the Matt's promotion in the Mystic Forge I just forgot to turn on my mic you stupid me Ooh, Mr. Chuck e. Cheese will be arriving soon Oh yes, no need to like jeopardize our safety. Oh, hello, Mr. Pretty. No, no, no. You don't do harm to me. Honestly, ugh. yeah, that's usually what happens. Anyway, we will kill Chucky's and we will proceed to our farm. Alright, Chuckies are done. Don't forget to loot your chest of the Chuckies. Yay! We need that eggy. Oh, I actually have two. Ha! Ah, I have 30. No need for more. Very nice. And now we wait for this wall to open. And meanwhile, we might have... A no, thank you. <laughs> we might have a smoke break. Okay, our wall is breaking down and everyone will rush in to get their stuff. We gather it all, I think. We'll talk to this guy. We will sell our crapsies. And we will head to the bubble farm. And it's about to start. Ha! Huh. Very nice. Nice timing. So it means... We can do chuck and then bubble farm. Let's pick up anything we can. Actually, you can do this farm passively by providing buffs to the people. Stonehead, hello. Just a little touch. I saw another cargo. Oh, let's pry it open. And I will spend here my time for one single run. See you there. Okay. So the farm is over, it's night time and I need to sort this junk out. 56 shiny bubbles and eh, not too great. I missed some. It's almost raw 17 gold. Not bad. In total I think I've spent less than 3 hours and we did what? We did dailies, we did 20 material conversions, uh, we did few caches in Tangle Depths, we did Chagarant, and we did Bubble Farm. Game wants a restart and it means that a new build is available and it is Winter's Day. So, uh, I will dump the fractals. Let's keep it simple because not everyone likes them, not everyone can do T4 and whatnot. And this will be pretty much it. I will go update and do some jumping just for fun. So the only thing left is to see how much did I make. So I did not wait for my scales to sell. Hence I lost around 2 gold. But now I have 4893. Meaning uh, my casual PvE activities yielded me 36 gold. And that's not bad. I think I think that's not bad 
and the point of this video is just to show you that by doing really simple things it's really kind of hard to be broke uh, unless you buy a lot of uh, necessary stuff yeah i think that's it Alrighty, thanks for watching and as usual i will see you next time bye bye, bye.